by default, a lot, there is animation that you can add to text. We, we kind of looked at before, if I click on text or if I click on this cloud, there's often an animate button where I can add a zoom in kind of effect or move in and fade in. So there's lots of different animations that you can apply to any object or any text. And we did take a look at that before. So everything I can animate. Um, but sometimes the animation isn't exactly what you want. So you can animate the way you want to animate. So I want, in this case, a kite um, that is going to fly from the bottom of my social media post up through the top. And um, I want my own animation. And this isn't limited to like just a frame by frame anim animation, which is, um, which is what I'm about to do. I'm interested in showing like you can have these clouds floating from left to right or even getting bigger or smaller. You just have to decide what you want to do and, and go for it. So what happens is I set up my um, social media posts because I want this inspirational quote, um, but I want a little animation with it. And I can choose to use those animated effects, but I want my own animation. So over here with the pages, let me close out of this. There's an area that says pages. And if I click on these three dots, I can duplicate. So I just made a, a copy of what I have. So then you make the changes on the second slide that you need to make. So I want this kite to start flying up uh, um, throughout here. And so I'm gonna duplicate this again move my kite a little bit more, duplicate it. And you keep duplicating and you reposition where you need to, to reposition. And remember that you can rotate something, you can make something grow bigger. So if you have text and you wanna make it bigger, you can make it bigger. You can change, um, the transparency, the opacity of it. Maybe you want um, text to fade in. You have text that doesn't, isn't quite visible at first, but then as the animation progresses, the, the text starts to become visible. Maybe it's your name, maybe a, a person's name, happy birthday greeting that you want their name to then show up. And for the sake of this demonstration, I am kind of being a little bit not so picky but I do want to get this kite out of here. There's a tail there too, so I'm going to keep animating until the kite is out of there. So I did have to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate maybe two times beyond so that if it were on my social media, it would probably loop. So it'll start all over at the bottom, but it gives a little time for people to process it and read the message. And then it, the kite will start all over again. And you can see how I animated. If I click through here really quick, I have the kite now animating up through the clouds. And just like this quote, your imagination for animation is unlimited. You do what you need to do. So there is another problem. I can download this right now and I would wanna download, be very careful with my selection, um, that I would wanna pick an MP4 or a GIF. Um, if there's no sound, I would pick the GIF. If there would be sound, I'd pick the MP4. But to be totally honest, I know something is wrong with this right now. So I wanna fix that. And what is wrong is each slide right now will, for some reason, last six seconds by default. So I'm going to come in here and I wanted to, I had to hit, I had to click on the background of this slide so I could see um, the button that said animate. And this animate button, however I get there. 
and I'm going to go back in here and pick none. But as soon as I hit that, I got this like little time reference at the bottom of each slide. So I want to change that back to none. I don't want any animation, but I don't want it to last six seconds either. So maybe I need to do this first. I want this to last one second. So I can come back up here and change this down to one. And I want to do that on all of my slides. taking a little time. So I'll give you some ideas while I'm coming through the rest of these. Some animations, um, I think I mentioned you can fade in and fade out text. This works well also for like if I want a background um, and I want some blobs, I have some circles on the screen, in this case maybe these clouds, and I want them moving around, I can start moving them around as well. So now they're all one second long, and I might want to come back in and change that eventually. But so the page duration is one. So I, I want to see what it looks like at this point. So I'm going to hit download. And I'm going to download as a MP4. It does take a little time to download because it's downloading every single page and there were 13 pages. So it's downloading them and then it's stitching them together into one file so that you can play the one file and it will go through every single one of those 13 pages. So this is a little bit of a technique called frame by frame animation. It's not an ex animation program, but you can create the frame by frame animation technique inside this program. Now I would say, say in, in Vista Create, I would keep it very simple. I wouldn't animate every single object that you put on a page that starts to get confusing as to where everything is. Just pick one or two things that you want to animate and kind of stick to that. So let's see what the, what it looks like. I might need to go back into Vista Create and change it. I don't like that cloud kind of zooming in so I'm gonna to have to take the zoom off of that but I do have my kite flying through here maybe one second isn't fast enough let me see it again I might need to fix it so that it's like 0.5 a second so half a second so I'm gonna kind of keep working on that but there's the idea of animation in Vista Create you can animate anything you can animate text you can animate the objects that you put in there you just got to be imaginative.